I absolutely want to go back to the America where women couldn't vote. This is Mark Robinson. He's currently the Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina and he's running to be governor. This resurfaced clip recently went viral, but it's just one of the many, many terrible things he said over the years. Robinson's career started with a viral pro gun speech after the 2018 Parkland school shooting. I'm the majority. He repeatedly mocked the tragedy on social media, calling survivors spoiled little bastards and media prostitutes. Robinson's Facebook is also full of anti-Semitism, like quoting Hitler, denying that six million Jews died in the Holocaust, and even declaring that Black Panther was a satanic Marxist film created to pull the shekels from black people's pockets. Keep in mind, his opponent in the gubernatorial race, Democrat Josh Stein, is Jewish. Robinson has also frequently ranted on social media about how being gay is a filthy abomination, equating it to pedophilia and suggesting it will bring about the end of civilization as we know it. And he's preached in sermons about how the pride flag makes him sick, calling it a direct spit in the face to God Almighty. He supports book bans to prevent teachers spreading their perverted agendas and says that schools shouldn't recognize the rights of queer and trans students. Ain't but two genders. Now, this may come as a shock, but Robinson also has some extremely sh beliefs about women. He said Christians should be led by men instead of women, and yes, he fondly reminisced about the time when women couldn't vote. He also supports a six-week abortion ban and says Planned Parenthood has blood on their hands. So how did someone this terrible win the GOP nomination for governor? Well, because he was endorsed by Donald Trump, of course, Trump called him Martin Luther King on steroids, which is almost as confusing as it is offensive, especially since Robinson repeatedly criticized the civil rights movement as a communist scheme to subvert capitalism that destroyed black schools and businesses. This one guy could actually influence the entire election. How? Well, North Carolina is not a deep red state, so there's a chance that in the general election, moderate voters come out in droves to make sure this dude doesn't run their state. That could tip the scales at the top of the ballot, delivering North Carolina's 16 electoral votes to President Biden and potentially sealing his victory. Of course, anything can happen in an election. A right-wing extremist like Mark Robinson shouldn't be anywhere close to power, but he's already second in line to the governor's seat.